Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Talking Money with Nozi podcast. I'm your host, Nozi, and today we're diving into a topic that's on everyone's minds, especially after our recent elections in May. Does politics affect investments? Well, spoiler alert, it does, but maybe not in the way that you think. So let's address the elephant in the room. It's no secret that during election periods, the air is thick with uncertainty. People are anxious, debates are heated, and there's this fear of what might happen next. I get it. We all have questions about how the political landscape could affect our financial future. But here's the thing. While politics does have an influence, it's not the be all and end all when it comes to investments. In fact, the real driver of market movements over the long term is much simpler and more basic, which is the profits of businesses. Yep, that's right. Those boring quarterly earnings reports and balance sheets, that's what truly drives the market. Let's break it down a bit. When you hear that the market is reacting to political news, it's usually a short-term thing. The real movers and shakers in the market are companies and their ability to make profits. Over time, it's the growth in these profits that pushes stock prices up and not necessarily the day-to-day -day headlines. Think of it like this. Elections are like the weather. It can be stormy or sunny or somewhere in between. But investing is like farming. Good farmers know that they need to stay focused on planting and nurturing their crops, regardless of the weather on any given day. So farmers don't stay up at night looking at the clouds, looking at the sky, wondering whether it's going to rain or whether it's going to be windy or sunny. They just get ready for the next planting season, prepare the ground and plant the seed. Similarly, Good investors stay focused on the basics, which is the performance of the businesses that they are invested in, rather than the political climate of the moment. Now, don't get me wrong, politics can create some noise and even some opportunities for some savvy investors out there. But here's a golden rule. Don't panic and make hasty decisions based on political headlines. History has shown us that the markets tend to recover from political shocks. For instance, look at our own history. Despite the many political changes and challenges that we faced as a country, the South African market has shown resilience and growth over the years. The economy has weathered everything, you know, from apartheid to multiple changes in government. And the JSE has continued to grow. So what should you do as an investor? before, during, and after elections. The key is to stay invested and keep your eyes on the prize, which is long-term growth. Trying to time the market based on political events is a losing game. Instead, focus on diversifying your portfolio, staying disciplined, and thinking long-term. And when we talk about diversification, I mean spreading your investments across different sectors, asset classes, and even across geographies. A properly diversified portfolio is your best bet against the uncertainties of the political landscape. This means investing both locally and globally to reduce your risk and take advantage of growth opportunities everywhere. One of the simplest ways to achieve this diversification is through exchange traded funds or ETFs. ETFs are my favorite investments, by the way. These investments are baskets that hold a variety of assets and they can provide you with instant diversification. Whether it's a local ETF tracking the JSE or a global ETF covering international markets, ETFs are an efficient and cost-effective way to build a very robust portfolio. Before we wrap up, let's just take a quick look at a few tips to help you stay grounded during politically charged times such as these. Number one, focus on fundamentals. Look at the health and profitability of the companies that you're invested in, not just the headlines. 
Number two, diversify. Spread your investments across sectors and geographies to reduce your risk. ETFs are a fantastic way to achieve this effortlessly. Step three, stay disciplined. Stick to your long-term investment plan and avoid making emotional decisions. Step four, educate yourself. Stay informed about the broader economic trends and how they might impact your investments. But don't get too caught up in the noise, right? So when you consume information, it's not for you to panic, but for you to be informed. Okay, guys, that's it for today's episode of the Talking Money with Nosy podcast. I hope you feel a little bit more at ease about the impact of politics on your investments. Remember, stay focused, stay invested, and don't let the political winds knock you off course. A well-diversified portfolio, both locally and globally, is your best defense against uncertainty. And ETFs are your friend in achieving that goal. As always, if you have any questions or topics that you would like me to cover, please feel free to reach out. You can find me on all the social media platforms. Just look for Talking Money with Nozi. Or you can drop me a WhatsApp voice note on 072-586-2827. Until next time, stay savvy, stay secure, and keep your money working for you. Remember that whatever you hear on this podcast should not be taken as financial advice. This is purely for information and entertainment purposes. Please consult a certified and independent financial planner before making any major financial decisions. 